Welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah! We're going back over by the Biodome. Because... I have to finish it. Yeah! So let's go! And if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. Yes, it is. All right. Go back inside here. Find out exactly what we have to do. And I was working on the first floor. So I made some more modifications. I opened this area up more. And finished the uh, ceiling. Nice. And there's the elevator. Because we are handicapped. Um, accessible. And I, it, that dawned on me while I was building it. Because any kind of uh, public building needs to be handicapped accessible. So. Hmm. Obviously, you're not going to be able to get down the stairs. So you'd have to come in on the upper level. So I... Open this area all up and put some windows in. Okay, that's it. No. <laughs> and um, I moved over the, uh, the like little gazebo. What the heck happened there? I have no idea what happened on my gazebo here. Hmm. And now I broke it. That's the only bad thing about these decks, is that they break. If it were, if you Okay, that goes there. <laughs> that does not go there. That goes there. So let's see if it worked. Yeah. There we go. And I really like the detail on these, on the, uh, my decks. Yeah, so I ended up moving um, moving the deck over one using World Edit. Just copied everything, moved it over. I, I should put an overhang on there, and I'll probably put some kind of shrubbery up there. So we come over here, and we uh, fix the patio. We got the little uh, experimental center going on here. Go back in here. I kind of like this because you can just leave a screen open. I have to figure out, I have this awkward area over here. I'm going to figure out something to do here. And possibly, hmm, because I want to keep this area here as a, like a presentation center. And then we have back here, we have the, we have the hallway that's going to lead to the elevator and the travel net. Might as well leave that in. It, it gets all, it can go all over the place. So today what we're going to do is we're going to work, finish working on the first floor and the cave. So this area is pretty much done. I just have to add some wall art. Um, you know, some more, so I have to fill in all my signs. We have a little waiting area over here. Have to put some lighting in. Um, can do, you know, something like that for right now. Got the lighting over in the diner area. And got to come back here. So the flooring. I have a, uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's try blast resistant concrete. That might look good. So, um, how's everybody doing? Out in Chicago, it is just miserable. And I usually, I will never complain about the rain. Um, I, 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 the rain is real relaxing and peaceful when it's actually raining. And for the last day and a half, 
It is nonstop rain, and it is the um, that it was that mist, and then now it's just like drizzle and light rain. It's not even a real, real rain. However, things in the in my courtyard are flooding because the the, the ground is just oversaturated. So it. It's kind of making a headache of everything. That looks cool. I always like that material. We're going to carry that all the way into the office area. Yep. And uh, I had a few more questions about the uh, links and stuff. If you go to the GitHub page... All the links to all the mods are there. And everything that, um, in every video description for the past oh, 25 videos, um, I have had links to all the mods and texture packs in there. So I get a lot of questions. I, I have uh, three questions uh, in the past day of where I can get the links from and you know, what mods am I using and everything else. So just go down into the video description. And even if you were watching the other videos, um, and if I showcased a new, a new, a, um, a new mod or anything like that, it'll show up there. That's not how you spell refrigerator. Mm. Oh, come on. There we go. What color do I want? Stainless steel. And we're gonna need an oven. And, um, let's see. We're gonna put in some grills. So there was one block, stainless steel block, is how I'm going to handle that. I don't know what I'm gonna put that. <laughs> it's not where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put that right there. That's where one of them is going to go. Just want to see something real quick. I don't know what I'm going to use for count for cabinets. I really don't know. So for the grill, we're going to have a grill... I want an island. So for the island, we're not going to use wall. We're not going to use stairs. Hmm. For the island, let's see what actually looks good. I usually like leaving two spaces around something. And then we have sinks over here. That will work. That'll work. Because then I have one and a half over here. Okay, that will work. Take this. Now, if I do my usual trick, that means I can't put anything on here. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to put these here. That's too thick. I knew that was going to happen. Dark. It's one after that. There we go. Am I missing something here? Oh, gee. Make that uniform. There. So we have a little island. I could I could have actually put. I like two around. I think that I think that works out pretty good for a grill. And 
And then a serving area, like a prepping area. Yeah, we will do that. So now I need some hoppers. And to simulate sinks. So... Let's see what we can get away with here. So far, I haven't had any feedback on um, anybody that's tried to actually install the world. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Uh, do I have any available? So you get to see me go through my thought process, what we're going to do. I haven't figured out, in, in, in other games, there are ways of adding stuff onto blocks where the blocks actually do stuff. You know, like on the refrigerator. You can't... What did I just do? A little box appeared up on my screen. Huh. And it won't clear. There it goes. I, I, I don't know what that was. Hmm. Doesn't matter. It's gone. So let's take a roll of paper towels. See what we can do with these. Cool. That'll work. That's, that's a cool little uh, dispenser. So what I wanted to do, and the reason why you kind of have to do things in such a way, is I want to mimic, you know, drawers. There we go. And unfortunately, we can't put any over there, but that's okay. So on top of here, we have thin glow lighting. So I think I have enough room. To go up. Yes, I do. And we're, we're going to go one more. One, two, one, two. And then... We have to put a vent in because we have actually two vents. So that's in my castle, my favorite, my favorite vents. And what I usually use for that is these column pillars. So we're going to need that and that. Let's see how we can make this look here. Usually leave one. So let's put... Yeah, that would have helped if I'd, I'd done the right one. I want... That one. Yep. Okay, and this is just trial and error right now to see how this stuff fits. Hey, <laughs> look at that. So then what I would usually do is go back in here and take my grate. We're going to put that up here for now. And then make this... And we have grates. Or I could have put a trap door. Which would have worked also. So that's coming together nicely. Um, that looks bad because... Okay, we got, we got some lighting. Why did I leave this open? Hmm. Let's see how that looks. <laughs> okay. It's a little off because of of that. 
I did it again. I meant to hit the W key. Actually, I don't even need lighting here. That just makes it look, um, makes it look off. I don't know. Maybe I do. Have to wait and see. I, I still get that monotone kind of look, which, yeah. Do I want to put cabinets up here? I can, or at least shelves. See, if I do that, these lights look horrible right here. What if I took and did this? Not bad. And then I, I, instead of that, I could have just put my own light in. Now, uh, re going back to the files, um, one one person asked if I just use. He said it doesn't. It appears that you're not using vanilla mind test. Um, I think it is. I'm not using. I don't have uh, any sub. I'm not playing the sub games. So, the um, I do have one sub game installed, and it's Mind Clone Two, but I am not using it. So one, let's see, one, one, two, three, four. I'm not using the um, I'm not using the Mind Clust or Mind Clust Mind. I'm not using the Mind Clone Two sub game right now, and I do not have uh, Dream Builder installed as a sub game, which you can do. So let's stack this, and I didn't want to do that, because you have to look in the direction, because I'm lazy. So four, stack, let's see, yes, it stacked it properly. That's one way of getting around that, because some of the blocks, when you try to face them, um, you have to sit there and, and face them. And to go back through each one, I know it's only four, but it's kind of a pain. So let's see what I'm running into here. Where's my we have stainless steel block? They have that neat feature in um, in Minecraft about. You could walk up to a block and just pick it. Now, this is kind of interesting because I could face that. I think that looks kind of hokey. Hmm. You know what I should do is get rid of this one here, get rid of this, and make this a counter also. All right. That'll work. Because these are cabinets. Okay. Like I said, everything is subject to change. So we have dual sinks installed. This kind of acts weird because of this wall. It's fine. I'm not going to obsess. I wish I could put some condiments and stuff like that up here, but because of the way that the blocks are, this is an addition on the top block. You can't put anything on top of here, but that is fine. So back here... I like this idea of an extra refrigerator. Back here is going to be a desk. So let's make it a desk. And I picked the wrong block again, didn't I? Oh, 
a well that will work. So now let's put a chair back here real quick. Do I have what I need? Dark gray wool panel, but I don't have dark gray slab. Gray wool, that'll work. I want to see how, I just want to see anything that can be um, improved upon later will. Okay, so we have a custom chair. You just need a computer because every office needs a computer. Yes, it does. All right, so back here, that's working nicely. We have extra storage. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I kind of don't like that. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, see that's what happens when you try to put, there we go, something on there. So we have some shelving. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to be a lounge or anything like that back here. You just stand here if you want to stay away from the customers. So we have an extra refrigerator. We have all this area up here. We do have chairs back here. You know, in the in the terms of role playing, that's fine. And what we are going to end up doing is right here is going to be some wall art. And go from there. So this is the start of the kitchen. The little cat the kitchen area. And there's enough workspace, cooking, grill. Got stuff on each side. Got sinks. There should be a sink back here too. But um why not? Could be a sink. Sure. Bam! We have a sink. And so we have a little storage area. And it needs a door. Yes, it does. And that has to change. Should have just went and did the bathroom real quick while I had the, the stuff. Okay. So we have, we have our kitchen area. Pretty cool. We have our seating area. And I'm just trying to see what else we need. I want to let me, oh, I guess it's centered. Good. So, um, Hmm. We have our information center. We have our aquarium. Let's go check out the cave real quick, the cave area. So the people will come down here and this area underneath here, I wonder what, how much room do I have? See, there's a natural cave down there. With mice. Look at there's a little mouse. I should just do that. Or should I do it right here? Okay. Hmm. Because you know what? I, I think. This should just be a landing point to down here. It's going, it's going, it's not needed. 
It looks much better. Oh, I should have left that. Okay. Because it's all going to be replaced. I like the I like the idea of having little presentation areas. So if we come down here, I think over here. How far away from this cave area are we? Oh, we're pretty far. Hmm. And one of my ideas was, is this, you, you see the coal here, and then we have iron, iron ores, and stuff like that. Why do we have dirt? I don't remember this. I, I obviously I was in the cave because I'm the one that put the um, I'm the one that put the the torches here, but I don't remember being down here or why I was down here. And there's no link. Oh wait a minute. Oh that's way over. Or is it? Spooky. Man, we're way off base now. That's over by... Hey, look at all the sharks and everything that came back. Pretty awesome. That's one of the reasons why I like that. Having, having these underwater uh, lookouts. Hmm. I'm going to have to, to think about that because the idea was is to have different ores. And those ores would... You know what? I'm, I'm just going to come off of here. So you come down here and we're going to have... Hopefully nobody's claustrophobic. We will add... So back in here... We're going to have like a, a little simulated cave. And anything that we see, so, you know, a safe, a safe cave, <laughs> if that makes any, um, any difference. And then inside the, inside this cave, I'm going to leave all, anything that I find that has ores and then add some ores like, um, Hmm. See what ores I can find. So for ores, we have a diamond ore, which is real cool looking. Let's clear some inventory real quick. I want to put a diamond. There's gold, tin, diamond, gold, tin. What else can I get rid of here? To sprinkle in here. Um, and I want it realistic. I don't know what that is. Sapphire. Hmm. Ruby. Emerald. Eh. What's that? Plankstone. Glowstone crystal ore. Sure, why not? Okay, so let's see. Oh, it li that's pretty neat. Oh, I wanted that there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create real haphazardly a mine structure. If you in, in Chicago, there's a place called um, Museum of Science and Industry. And they actually have like a, a train system and uh, a mining shaft and stuff like that of where people can go, go down. Now, why didn't that light up? Maybe it's because I didn't put in the proper one. There we go. So what we're going to do is just add, sprinkle some, so that's diamond. And... A 
let people look at. So Crystal Glow Tin. That's the one I haven't put in yet. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play with that to make it look even that much better because this way and put more ores in. Because this way people can actually look and see what what type of ores are in the ground. So that that that's an that's a start. And I remember going to places like uh, Jesse James Cavern in uh, um, Missouri, uh, the the home of the the hideout of the Jesse James gang when they used to pull their train robberies, and it was Merrimack Caverns, which are now flooded. Uh, they, they had something to do with the river and it had to, if it, it ended up, they had to close the caverns down. I believe they're, they're closed down because they're, they're completely underwater from the river. And, uh, you used to have tours through there and they had stalactites and, um, all rock formations. They actually had a place that you could go into, which was the darkest place in the world. So that, that was, that was creepy. So, yeah, and anybody that's familiar with Wisconsin Dells, they had the upper and lower Dells boat trips, and those, um, those are uh, nature-made formations that, obviously, the uh, elements carved and eroded uh, in the glaciers had carved out. So you used to take these boat trips up and down part of Wisconsin on the, on this waterway that was created by glaciers, glaciers. And, uh, yeah, they had something very similar. You get off the boat and then you take these walks into, um, different areas of the, uh, like park and you got to see all the, uh, rock formations and different, um, what am I looking for? Different layers, sediment, different layers of rock, and you go back thousands of years. And it's very interesting. Okay, so this is all here. And I really wish this was one more over, but yeah, it's not going to happen. So that's like that. That's here. I'm not sure if I can put some seating here. We have our way to the elevator. I don't want to overload this level because there's going to be, you have to, you have to realize, or you have to consider how many people are going to be in here at one time working on various experiments or planting or whatever. I'm thinking about putting up an open shelf here with some supplies on it. That would work. And then up here, this all needs to get cleaned out. because I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to put. I would like to leave the carpeting, but I don't think I can. Because this whole thing is supposed to um, imitate being carved out of rock. And even if I color the rock, the only bad thing about using the, um, the paints on the rock is that it, it covers the entire node. I really, I would love to only have one part of the node. Oh, you know what? That looked kind of cool. Like carpeting, like a, like a, um, a rug. Let's save that. That was gray. It was gray wool. And then go from there. I think, I think I've answered all the questions so far. Um, I'm going to hit those real quickly at the end. We're going to wrap this up because I don't like going over a half hour. And let's make this look good. Okay. Yeah, it's a big, huge throw rug. And... 
Nice. Could have put shelving there. So how do I want to do that? Because this is going to... That's too thick. Oh. No, it's off. Because it's different. I would have to, um... Hmm. You see, now I can't use that node. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to sit here and fret over over one little thing. What happened here? Oh, I know what happened. Because of the wall. That's, that's fine. There we go. That fixes that. We have the bathroom entrance. We have bees. And... Uh, this is just gonna, this is all gonna get tore up. This is just carpet laying on top and I can't put anything on top of that, but I can put stuff on top of there. However, I can't go through here because of, that goes right down to the floor below. You know what? Because of what I did, I can, I can carpet. I can carpet almost this entire area, except for it's going to throw this off. Hmm. That's an idea because underneath here, what I, what I did is you see the white wall and that's the white wall from the floor below. Okay. So yeah, see, I, I went all that way, so I can do that. This looks a little hokey, but I like it. I could actually, there's, there's a lot of different stuff I could do to make, you know, put a column up here or something like that to, to make it look more believable. But so far, what we have is this is the second floor. This is where experiments and flower planting and stuff like that. And there's going to be areas out here where there's going to be a little flower garden out here. So they can take their experiments and put them right out. So that, that'll work there. We have disability entrance here going to the elevators. So we have that covered. We have, unfortunately, we don't have an easy way to get here unless I put a ramp or something to make it, to make it authentic. Um, we have a patio area. I might extend that one more and put some tables out here. Because one, two, three, four. Yeah, I might go actually go one more out. And then we can have outdoor dining. And I'm putting in I'm putting in more doors here instead of just all glass. So we have this information area. We have all our booths. We have windows. We have access to the upper part. And the kitchen is done for the most part. There's just tweaking and just little things to add like let's take this out of here and put <laughs> why won't that work wow hmm you know what I didn't want to use it okay there that one worked that would have been fine but there I might actually go with the white refrigerator there because then if I go white, I can possibly put a double refrigerator in and this would still look cool. And I don't want to take away from any of the seating. All right. So we have that in there. There's going to be wall art then there. So all I have to figure finish down here is the bathroom and finish the transition between wood, I want to figure out how far I need to take the wood before transitioning to here. You know, all building stuff. But this is the thought process that goes through with it. And we come down here, and we have our little fake 
cave area. I like that idea. I have to, I'm going to have to really play with this to make it pop out. You know, because they're, I've seen, I've seen stuff like that in real life. And I want to, that's what I'm trying to replicate. So, uh, we are moving nicely along. It feels like I haven't gotten anything done, but I did. And let's go in and see how much time we have here. Because I don't want to keep um, going. And one of the questions came in on Reddit. And the Reddit question was how... Uh, it was one of the, one of the questions here. Um, Drizzit. This is obviously not vanilla version of Mind Test. What game are you playing inside of Mind Test? I'm not. Uh, like I said before, uh, I have Mind Clone 2 installed. I had Adventure Test installed, which both of those are real cool games. I just love playing creative. So my entire world is creative. It's the stock uh, on my server. I'm running the stable, latest stable version of Mind Test. And one world, all the mods are installed. And in every show description, you'll see a link to all the, all the mods and to the GitHub page with explanation on how to download the texture pack. So in my customized texture pack, all of my texture packs are, are um, hand-picked different items from Vanessa E's HDX 64 and 128 uh, texture packs and then mixed in with the default texture pack. And then I mixed in four different versions of this wood. And I mixed in four different versions of that wood. I made that wood. And I included it. I didn't think, I am going to post the, um, the GIMP file of that, of how I, I got a wood um, sample pick photo and then scaled it down and then just played with the colors so you have the apple wood the birch this is the spruce and yeah those are mine and i included those in the texture pack how you do that is you notice that that is called more tree spruce wood that's because i yanked out the um the the graphic the texture for more trees, spruce wood, and labeled mine that. Because I'm, I'm still not at the point of creating my own mod, of adding my ultimate goal, and I've been saying this for a while, and I've been very, very busy because I'm looking for a, a new contract job and everything else, is um, I want to create a mod that adds a whole bunch of extra building materials. Um, about seven or eight, maybe even 10 building materials. I'm up to like five or six of my own custom. And what those will do is they're just, they can be used in survival, whatever, but it's for the creative players that want to build modern. And they're going to be geared towards modern. So I, I'm going to have wood floors, um, a real nice polished concrete. Um, I would like to see different colored concrete and stuff like that. So those are basically the last three questions. See, look at that area. That area is just so cool. And inside the biodome, I have to put the decking. Um, so those are the three last responses and questions on there. So I have no idea how long I've, I've rambled on for, but that's going to do it for this episode. So if you have any uh, comments, questions, criticisms, or what you would like to see done with this, this center, because I want to wrap this center up and start working on the, on the advanced trains. And I want to start getting that line to start going up north and, and go from there. So, yeah. So if uh, you have any questions or... Mm, get off. Thank you. So if you have any questions about that, let's see where I am if I come up here. Here's, the, here's where one of the little train areas, there, believe it or not, there's actually a train station right underneath here. And there's my convenience store. Not many people remember it. 
you can come in here and it is all modified with uh, pipe works and stuff. And I want a cup of coffee. There's my cup of coffee. I can't pick it up because I have too much stuff in my inventory. There we go. Now I have, I have my cup of coffee. And you can get anything you want in here. And there's piping and stuff like that that come up because I automated. You put wheat seeds in in the back here. You put wheat seeds in and it comes out here as bread. So there, there is one existing convenience store. So we're going to go from there. And look at that, automated doors and everything. But they didn't close. Yeah, they did close. So, you see? Store. So we're going to go from there. Um, I want to thank you for joining and uh, coming along for the ride. We will finish up the biodome and... Uh, there's not much, it, everything now is just tweaking and getting things um, situated the way I want them. Uh, put in some more exits out here and the decking, and then this area will be done so people can walk around. There's a bee. And I just drank my coffee. And uh, move on to the trains and then finish up with my, uh, my other modern houses. And then add some more other stuff, like a, a full-blown restaurant and maybe a, a bigger store. So, yeah. All right. Thank you for watching. Everybody have a fantastic day. Hopefully, it's dry out where you are. With me, it's, it's wet and dreary, and the sun's going down. Look at that. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day, and goodbye.